What is up, guys? Cokeboy J here, bringing you guys some Black Ops 1 gameplay from the Xbox One, even though we're playing on 360 servers. The game, the game, the game, the game, the game that everybody's raving about right now, the game that most people are playing right now, Black Ops 1. I've been having a lot of fun in this game lately, been getting some gameplay, 70 bombs, 60 bombs, and stuff like that. It's been pretty amazing. This is actually the first time I've ever posted some Black Ops 1 gameplay on my YouTube channel. I've never posted Black Ops 1 before because I started towards the end of Modern Warfare 3's life cycle. Took a break during... Yeah, I pretty much stopped during Black Ops 2 throughout Ghost and AW and then came back on Black Ops 3. But that's besides the point. 100,000 people playing at once that's where the game peaked um, I was playing yesterday seeing a hundred thousand people on and it's a really good thing to actually be able to go back on the old Call of Duty and actually be able to play certain game modes such as demo and ground war and stuff because ground war was pretty much dead before they brought this game back on like, backwards compatibility and it's pretty much one of the main reasons why I never really went back to black ops zones because ground war was dead and plus you have to delete all your DLC and stuff like that you can actually find lobbies even though you have your DLC downloaded so that's a pretty good thing the only thing I don't like about playing Black Ops 1 on the Xbox One is that somehow the connections feel a little bit worse I don't know you're playing on Xbox One you're on the Xbox One party playing on 360 servers and the connection just isn't like right per se at least we don't have like crazy frame rate issues I know back in on um, Gears of War when Gears of War 3 first came the Xbox one the frame rate was just fucking ridiculous on that I mean it was almost unplayable at times because of how bad the frame rate were, was on that but the frame rate isn't the issue um I guess when people yeah when people join parties like it lags a little bit like, I remember, like, when you play Ghost on the Xbox One, when somebody joins the party, the game just lags for some odd reason. It does the same thing for Black Ops 1 at times, so that's a little bit of an issue, but it's something that can get, that you can play through. Like, it's not like you constantly have people joining and leaving your party all the damn time on Xbox One, so it's not much of an issue. So let's get into the gameplay. Like I said earlier, 72 and 10 on Nuketown. How I feel about the game now. Well, this game is pretty easy to play, to be honest. Like, I play the game solo most of the time and pretty much drop blackbirds and shit and dogs like every game. It's not that much of a challenge, to be honest, unless you're going up against these sweaty tryhards that you run into with scuffs and shit that came from Black Ops 3 to play this game. But, this game is made up of mostly dyers. It's easy to get a gameplay on this game. It's not difficult at all. Um, I'm running County UAV Blackbird and Dogs. I'm not running Chopper Gardener for the simple fact that I actually want my team to get kills and I want my team to actually do well. And plus I like more gun engagements to be honest, like getting more gun kills is more enjoyable. But if I would have ran the Chopper Gardener in this match, it would have easily dropped 100 plus for the simple fact that, you know, those would have been like an easy like 20 kills each chopper gunner to be honest plus with the dogs up would have got the people that are camping inside the building so I'm mean, 10 times easier but the reason I run the county UAV is because it helps me and my team a lot especially playing solo you don't want to be seen in the radar at all so I slap on that county UAV and it really throws off the other team and it makes it more of a controlled situation for yourself you have more control over the map because you can be able to get anywhere you want within the enemy spawn without them recognizing. The thing about Call of Duty is that a lot of people don't understand the fundamentals in the game. So radar is really important. Especially paying attention to your screen when you see the skulls of your enemy. Oh no, if your friendly's dying. A lot of a lot of people that play the game don't know the importance of death locations of your teammates. Because pretty much when you know where your teammates died, you know where the other team is at, you know where that person's at within that particular area of that skull popping up on your screen, so 
a lot of people don't recognize that. So just take advantage of um being able to take away their um mini map for 30 seconds. Within that 30 seconds, you could pretty much get your blackbird right then and there. You just push the spawns, bam, you're good. So that's that. But yeah, in my opinion, I would have rather had Modern Warfare 3 than Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 isn't a bad game by the stretch of the imagination. Black Ops 1 is a pretty good game, but the connections is a huge issue. The hit detection is bad. It's just, the hit detection is just really bad. I don't, I'm not going to elaborate on the hit detection. Just play the game yourself. Many different people talked about it years ago, back in 2010, 2011, about the hit detection. So, not even going to go off about that. But to me, MW3 is an overall, it has an overall better multiplayer experience, to be honest. Especially with the whole public scene. It would have been more enjoyable to watch MW3 on YouTube. It would have been more enjoyable to play MW3. But Black Ops 1 is a more complete video game per se because of the content that it has, a la zombies. Zombies make money. A lot of people love zombies. For people who didn't play zombies in this game, they're probably going to buy the DLC because of how good the DLC zombies maps are. Ascension, Call of the Dead, Shangri-La Moon. So, it's definitely going to generate a little bit more revenue for Treyarch in terms of um, DLC sales. And that's pretty much going to be the first time we've ever seen an old Call of Duty be revived and sell DLC because a lot of people want to play zombies. My friend bought First Strike to play with me because he didn't have his old account so he spent $15 on First Strike to play Ascension. And yeah, I mean Black Ops 1 coming back to Xbox One is a blessing in disguise. It's pretty much... I think it's a hint at what's to come in the future with more boots on the ground because we don't have many boots on the ground games on next gen. I mean, Ghost is the only other game besides this. So yeah. This is pretty much it for the commentary guys. I will have some more gameplays coming soon. And I'm out guys. Peace.